Okay, greetings everybody. Howdy howdy, welcome back. It's that time once again, Friday afternoon, for me anyway. Uh, that makes it Cataclysm time. Let's, um, you know, let's play some Cataclysm. During a, a portal storm. <laughs> and the last day of spring. Uh, uh. Alright. Go check a few things real quick. I think we're all set. Yep, Twitch is working fine. Sound is good. Yeah, we're okay. We'll, we'll try to get started a little, a little quicker today. Do some exciting crafting <laughs> and inventory sorting and proficiency learning. Oh, yeah, that high tension stuff. <clears throat> I guess we should turn this on. Take a look. What's going on? Man, we got a lot of stuff to learn. A lot of stuff. Wound care expert. Ooh. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> My Discord message. What do you mean? I just put out a new Discord notification saying that uh, we're playing Cataclysm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wasn't a me problem. <laughs> eh, portal storm. Eh. So far we've we've been able to hide and we're going to keep hiding from this one. It probably won't be around that long. I'm more concerned about the switch over to summertime and the heat. Uh, we've experienced the joys of the portal storm to some degree in a previous challenge. I haven't spent a lot of time outside because, you know, you really shouldn't. <laughs> it's not recommended. It is not happiness making. Yeah, last day. We've got uh, less than 12 hours of spring left. We got a lot of days to burn still. A lot of proficiencies to pick up. A lot of crafting to do. A lot of uh, motorcycle building to do. We, we just we got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. All right. Uh, let's let's get to it. So what's on our list? I added a few things in between Friday's episode and today on my list here. Uh, I wanted to mention a couple things. Uh, first, uh, let's see. Pet supply. Pet supply store. Remember uh, a while back, we, we meaning me, was looking for salt water? Pet supply store. 50 gallon tanks or aquariums full of clean water and or salt water, depending on which aquarium you find. Um, that's a huge, huge amount of, of water. It's like 700 doses or uses of water per aquarium. Um, so yeah, just visit your local pet supply store if you want a ridiculous amount of clean water or salt water. There are a couple of different ver versions of that building. I think three, and I believe just from real quick testing, I could be wrong, but I believe from real quick testing, one of them does not have the aquariums. But like I said, I only jumped through a few and checked them out real quick. But uh, yeah, clean water, salt water, go to your pet supply store locally and uh, it'll, it'll take care of you. So we might go visit one of those. Uh, I got to fit my armor. I want to make a fire armor repair kit. There's been some changes to climbing. A PR just landed that fixes that little weird thing we had on Friday when we were trying to grappling hook down where the, uh, or where we were trying to go down where the stepladder was. The grappling hook message would turn on, but then it wouldn't actually move us. That's been fixed. And there's been some other changes, so you might want to check out the PR. I don't have it handy uh, to, to link in. But, um, yeah, there's been some changes in regards to how the climbing systems work and where it's safer or not safer to do and, and various things. So just be careful if you're doing uh, climbing up and down because um, things are a little different now. 
Yeah, that didn't actually come through there. Scienthes. <laughs> All we see is uh, uh, little, 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 little asterisks. <laughs> that may be a PR for climbing for you. <laughs> yeah, one of the regulars will have to uh, have to link it in. All right. Uh, let's see. Four months. Woo. <laughs> Four months, woo, for a person whose name I cannot pronounce. I don't think you intended that to be pronounceable. <laughs> You're going to have to phoneme that out for me. Yeah, we got portal storms now. Weird stuff happens. Basically, the elder gods are trying to reach into our reality and uh, they cause all sorts of uh, weirdness and shenanigans during the portal storms. Yeah, finding banks, but uh, getting river banks. I think it didn't it used to be that you could you could just reverse your 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 instead of like right arrow to go through the the river or the banks you would left arrow and it would go to the end of the list i can't remember now <laughs> uh, let me get out of here real quick map i don't have any rivers nearby so it won't work the same but i thought instead of uh tabbing you could shift tab and it would take you to the back end of the list so it goes to the the far end and then maybe it would be the other one i, I don't remember if that works or if i'm misremembering but yeah, the banks versus river banks. There's a few keywords like that that are kind of rough when you're trying to search, especially if you've got a lot of the map explored. Okay, uh, yeah, let's, uh, so back to my list here. So, all right, let me get rid of the, uh, the climbing notification. So you're all warned. Just be careful. I, I might test a little bit of it myself. Uh, we don't need to know the pet supply thing. And then, uh, it was brought to my attention via my discord after Friday's episode that I, I'm using my impact knuckles completely wrong. So uh, we had a number of conversations about this, and it's my opinion that these should not be named Knuckles. I, I think they should be named Impact Gloves or some other name other than Knuckles. The reason I bring it up is because you don't actually wield these for best effect. You wear them. They're actually a clothing item. So Impact Knuckles, category clothing, and it's an important distinction for one or two reasons. Uh, first off, the damage actually doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. I do the same damage whether I wield them or wear them. The same range of damage, same low, same high, same number of crits, and so on. But there are other effects that are very important that also contribute to their combat effectiveness. And that would be while wearing them, it costs less action points to actually perform a melee attack. And it also qualifies or at least doesn't trigger the unarmed uh, weapon tag for my martial art so let's see we've got Zui Kwan listed right now so if we uh, store those for a second so Zui Kwan is now active but if I try to wield the impact knuckles which uh, where'd you go impact knuckles Oh, they're in the clothing section. <laughs> I just mentioned that. God damn it. Get away from that big stack of stuff. Uh, wield. Do -do -do. Impact Knuckles. Impact Knuckles is not a valid Zui Kwan weapon. But if I wear them, you put on your Impact Knuckles. And we're still in Zui Kwan. So, by wearing them instead of wielding, I maintain the same damage values. But I gain the use of all my martial arts abilities. And it cost me less action points to actually do an attack. So just be aware. It's a, it's a pretty important distinction. There's a, I don't know, I think we found three or four weapons that do this or are, are handled this way. And I'm not sure if it's intentional that it sidesteps the unarmed 
weapon flag for like these types of things or if they're intended to be used properly with them um, because it's a worn clothing item as opposed to a wielded item. So I don't know. Maybe it's intentional. Maybe it's not. But either way, if you uh, if you wear them, they won't take any damage when you're fighting. They may take damage if they're hit in on your hands, given their uh, their coverage rating. Uh, which is pretty eh, 40%. So yeah, they might take hits. If your hands get hit, then they might, if they get hit within the 40%, they might uh, might take damage. But that's a lot less than when you're pounding on things. So they'll probably last longer and uh, you regain all the stuff. So Impact knuckles to silk gloves? <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, I think I can, I can draw on these. Did I spell that properly? I did. All right, there you go. We got our silk gloves. Okay. I think that's uh, everything I wanted to immediately talk about. Uh, but just be aware. Be uh, be cautious about your unarmed weapons that you're using, whether they're considered a clothing item or a, a weapon item. Um, and, and check both ways. Check not just raw damage, but check things like uh, whether they impact your martial art, whether they're... Uh, faster to use, meaning cost less action points to execute an attack, things like that. Alright. Let's see. But yeah, I, I don't like the, th the reason, the thing that they're called uh, knuckles, because all the other knuckle weapons in the game are wielded. It's just this one that's also called Knuckles. So you've got these various things that at the early part teach you to wield. So you get nail knuckles or scrap knuckles early on and uh, they're a category weapon and you wield them. And you move up to steel knuckles and they're a weapon that you wield. But these two new ones are both considered uh, clothing. They're both in the clothing bracket. So... Yeah, so just be careful. Yeah, doing the uh, whoops. Been a that's while long since message. I could watch since starting my cybersecurity <laughs> classes. Just hopped in to say hello. Looking forward to this challenge on YT Lol. YT Lol. <laughs> hey there, Zizix. Welcome back. Yeah, there's a few episodes of it over on the YouTube side. We're uh, we're a couple of weeks ahead on the Twitch side. It's just starting to get into the point where I consider uh, doubling up episodes on YouTube to kind of get things caught up a little closer. I try to maintain about a two-week gap between the live Twitch stuff and what's on YouTube because it gives me time and room to both batch process and upload videos to YouTube. I can wait a week or two and then do them all at once. Just one sit down session. I can do a bunch of editing and uploading. And it also gives me some lead time if I run into any kind of copyright problems or issues like that. I can uh, try to address them before the thing goes live. And it gives me a little bit of a, a lead way uh, or, or buffer so that if I'm out for a day or on vacation or taking time off or quitting disgust or whatever, there's uh, enough still going on YouTube to keep the daily stuff uh, to cover whatever period of time I might be away. So I get that question a lot in the YouTube comments. Why, why are there so many videos on your channel I can't access, I can't view, they're all private. Well, that's why. They're just the daily videos uploaded ahead of time and scheduled out one per day, one hour per day. And uh, that's why they're out there like that. Can I compare the impact knuckles to skewer knuckles? Uh, bash versus cut. <laughs> I think that's the only thing. Pretty sure. So skewer knuckles are, oh, pierce I mean, bash versus pierce. So plus one, 10 and two versus uh, no hit bonus, but 12. So, I mean, the plus one is nice, but I mean, it's not super critical. And you're gonna be swinging so fast that uh, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference anyway. So, yeah. The skewer knuckles are slightly faster. Depends on what kind of damage you're doing. Typically, the general wisdom and the pierce damage is better at high skill level usage. 
bash damage is better at low skill level usage. So depending on kind of where you're at in that curve and what you're fighting and whether they're armored or not and all that kind of stuff, it, it's really, really circumstantial and, and hard to kind of gauge. I'm just going to go with the impact knuckles for the, the raw bash damage for now. We can adjust later if we need to, but uh, I'll just stick with the bash. I've got other things that will do much, much better pierce and cut and so on. Um, doo -doo. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's let's get into the actual process here. Now that I'm, I think, caught up on most of the stuff, uh, so we're gonna take this episode. We're, we're gonna continue what we were doing on Friday. That's trying to get prepped. I'm trying to get ahead of the curve. Evolution's gonna start kicking my ass. Um, some of the wandering hordes are gonna get dangerous every time I leave the base and then come back again. The area around the base is likely to be populated, so we need to we need to be very careful about that. Yeah, I saw something about stamina and action point cost sets for whether you're climbing up versus down. Down uses less stamina than up. And it used to be that not using a drain pipe or anything, just dropping off an open edge was actually safer than using a drain pipe. And that's no longer true. And I think that's the, the bulk of my takeaway from the brief reading of that PR that I did. So... Okay, I moved, so gameplay starts at. <laughs> um, I also wanted to uh, I wanted to get, get my gear fitted. <laughs> I'm running around with unfitted gear. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get the rest of my gear fitted up. Let's do that first, actually. Uh, let's see what we can do with the Taylor's kit. Taylor's kit, repair... Uh, sure. We'll just refit. Repeat until refitted. We do have a 0.8 chance of uh, damaging it. I'll take that chance. <laughs> That's funny. Now we have to repair it. I knew, though, that we would have a perfect chance to repair it back to full, so it's just a matter of materials being used. <laughs> That's still funny. Uh, good times. Oh, now it's one point. Oh, now it is refit, and now we're at... Uh... That's weird. Now we're at reinforce. So I don't want to reinforce it. I'm not worried about that. All right. The dark helmet's fixed. Uh, how about you, buddy? What do you get fixed by? Uh, firearm repair kit. I'm going to put that together. That's why I have it on my, my little diary list. I'm going to put a firearm repair kit to together. Soldering iron otherwise. Let's get the kit put together and then we'll fix that. So for the firearm repair kit, I need a pipe cleaner and a metalworking chisel. Pipe cleaner is no problem. Pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner is complete. And then chisel. Eh, we're still looking at some blacksmithing proficiencies, but uh, a few hours, that's fine. Important that I get this thing, to me, it's important that I get it put together. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. What's my... Hmm, focus is good. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, let's do that. <clears throat> surely, you're, yeah, surely you know your world is doomed. What has started here cannot be stopped. Embrace the inevitable. <laughs> Ignore it. Just a simple distraction. You call this the end? Uh-oh. Oof, traps are having a good time out there. All right, portal storm's gone. And we have our metalworking chisel. Let's uh, drop that on the pile. Uh, yep. Now, firearm repair kit. No chance to fail. Three minutes. Just basically assembles these things into a, into a box. <laughs> Okay, yay, get items. Firearm repair kit. And I think it used all the ones I had in my inventory. 
Uh, so it doesn't include a socket wrench. Yeah, it pulled everything else and used it. So that's good. All right, so now that we have that... Put a battery in there. And... Where did I put the big gun? Approved lockpick. <laughs> Love it. Still sitting on my head. <laughs> Somebody wanna wanna get a PR for that, or is no? Is that that's probably a is that a tile set issue? I assume that's a tile set issue. <laughs> it's like mounted on my helmet. <laughs> Ah, good times. All right, fire and repair kits. Uh, we're going to repair a gun. Improved lockpick. Completely repaired. Cool. That's our 50 cal, by the way. So that's the uh, uh, AIAS 50, 50 caliber anti materiel rifle made by Accuracy International. Oops. Okay, so we got this one done. We got that one done. Making progress. Make a new entry. So what do we get? We got uh, mechanics, two levels. We got uh, electronics, two levels. We got principles of metalworking finished and uh, killed a few zombies. Cool. Oops. All right, we're hungry. Let's have uh, some clean water first. Worry about the hunger later. Still overweight. Just find light industry metalworking to loot easier, quicker. <laughs> sure. Point me to the light industry. <laughs> I'm happy to go visit the light industry. <laughs> Assuming that comment was to me and not somebody else in chat somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't have such a luxury in this one. <laughs> You're looking down the sights? Shoulder guns? Yeah, I wouldn't be uh, surprised. Uh, the gun offset might be ported from Ultica. Yeah, that's a good good point. I don't know a lot about how that process works, but that, that makes sense with the little bit that I know of. Well, at the very start of the game, Civil Engineer, you're right on the border of normal to overweight. You actually want to be in the overweight category. That is the proper category to be in. You don't want to be normal. So it doesn't matter. Just stay overweight. What you want to do is just check this every day when you eat. And if it says obese, stop eating for a while. Keep it in the overweight category. There's no negative to that. And it provides you with plenty of calories for your CBMs and mutations. You're in the normal category. There's a hidden cutoff point kind of at the 40% or so of the normal category of calories that all of a sudden your CBMs and your uh, mutations that require calories to burn to power them won't work anymore. So it's kind of off-putting when that happens. <laughs> so just go to overweight, stay in overweight, be happy. That is the proper place. Nope, you don't want to aim for normal. Normal is the bad place. Don't don't be normal. Be overweight. <laughs> you can be whatever you want to be. I'm just uh educating, I am not advocating. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to worry about fixing this other stuff for now. Uh, we got those done, and it's not quite dark yet, so we're not going to go downstairs. So, damn, I'm warm. I don't have the fire going. I don't think this will make much difference. Nope, <laughs> it's just warm. We're going to be slow. 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to adjust our carry or our, our gear. This gear is not going to work. Unfortunately, we're not really wearing much in the way of clothes. So, just the um, yeah, every piece of us is hot. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore it for the moment. We shouldn't be too worried about it for now. All right. Uh, so I wanted to look at this real quick. So we need uh, we need lots of leather work initially. So we're gonna work on principles of leather working and such. So if I say practice, we do have leather working beginner. So I'm gonna try practicing this. We've got the tools. We've got enough leather for some practice sessions. Thread is no problem. Um, takes an hour and a half. We're at uh, slow. I have my gloves on. I assume. Uh, oh, the uh, the armor is doing it. All right, so back to the screen again. Practice. We're still at 83. Are we at 83 because of uh, the heat? Causing that slow down now. We're right on the border on the torso. Fine, fine. We'll toss all this stuff off. I'll have to put it all back on again. Uh, spear strap. <laughs> Wasn't affecting my torso. And I want to drop the leather backpack. I think that's the only other thing I'm wearing. All right, we'll deal with it. Recalculate, please. 90, 90%. Well, I mean, we're a little better off. Fine, we'll take it. Do it. Stone pouches on my leg. Keep practicing proficiency. I, 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 I forgot to check. So. Beginner, zero, zero. Does this not actually raise the proficiency? Principles of leatherworking, 88. Proficiency is done. You are now proficient in principles of leatherworking. Stop practicing. Yes. All right. Principles of leatherworking complete. Though so it was working just fine. Uh, it should be running my MP3 player while we're doing this. All right. So, uh, no. Practice. Other working advanced. Skilled leather working. Is skilled leather working used for survivor suit? Skilled leather working. So we got principles. We need skilled and then garment closures, fabric waterproofing, and advanced polymer sewing. Ugh. Fabric waterproofing, advanced polymer sewing. All right, let's just do it. Um, we're at what? Tailoring six. Tailoring six. I'm gonna turn that off for a while just to be safe. I don't want to burn. Uh, focus on leveling the skill. All right, 2200. Thirty percent of the way, huh? So probably going to take us 
Mm, what a day. Finish that up. We can get just a couple more done. We get that one, which is double the time, 1.2 failure. And then the fabric waterproofing is double the time, 1.3. Eh, eh, we're probably going to end up doing all of them. I might skip garment closures. All right, so nighttime, hungry. Uh, food is over here. What are we eating nowadays? I think I've been nibbling on the MREs. Chicken burrito bowl entree, macaroni entree. Uh, yeah. Get the gear back on, see just how warm we are. Yeah, that's still going to be a problem. Hmm. How hot is this medieval armor? Twenty-five. Hmm. Annual tooling. Oof. Yeah, I think it'll cool off a little more if we just let a little bit more time go by. Let's uh let's wait a little bit longer. So let's uh let's keep practicing about midnight. Forty-two. Yeah, it'll probably be uh, <laughs> it'll probably be getting cooler again by the time I finish putting together that chainmail gear, Sanon. <laughs> I need to be able to survive the trip to get the materials. We got a bit of a chicken and an egg problem when we're forced and closed into this kind of an area and I can't just hop in a vehicle and go driving the countryside looking for mansions or um, museums that I can access easily. I wonder if anyone managed to keep a dog for more than a few days in this game without just shoving him in a box. I have the exact same feeling about all things NPC and pet related. Every single NPC and pet. Just stick him in a box inside of a basement. <laughs> and ignore him. Uh, Alright, so. Now we're going to go take a, take a look outside. Did it, did it cool down any? Yeah, it cooled down a bit. We can live with that. All right, first thing we got to do is go check all of our, our traps, do some pulping, see what kind of uh, wandering horde presence has been brought into the local area. Uh, we are... <laughs> do I want to take... Yeah, we'll we'll go as is. Okay, an almost dead zombie. Let's go uh smack him in the face with our pair of uh, silk gloves. We lurched, so that's the Zui Quan martial art. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so much, so much stuff laying around anymore. 
If I find I need something, I'll just come out and look for it instead of uh, trying to sort through all this stuff. Some oxy. I'll take some oxy. I feel coal. Oh, the fire. <laughs> the pyromaniac thing. A howling waif. Hey, howling waif, go die on a spike. That way I don't have to uh, risk you summoning anything. Oh, Thorny Shambler. Nearly dead Thorny Shambler. He's still going to get me. So we're going to back off on both of those. Get the uh, staff sling out. I've only got five, I think, stones currently. Am I, like, missing? <laughs> I'm not getting any messaging. Staff sling. I'm firing it properly. Fire. Uh, oh, small target. I am missing. Hmm. All right, get a little closer. Ah, terrible shriek. Might as well have just... Ran up and grabbed her, or beat her to death. That's a little better number. One more should take care of that problem. All right, I see you coming from down there. Let's, um... that away <laughs> what's my encumbrance oh man finally so there's a 37 point lurch crit stun 31 point and 25 point that's three crits in a row look at that I like seeing that kind of info that is some really good damage now I missed Four, three times in a row. <laughs> ah. I'm hoping that now with the uh, martial art being used in combination with the impact knuckles that we'll be able to take things out in melee and I can finally try to push a little bit of unarmed combat to get that thing to five. Really, really like to get it to five. All right, give me, give me rock. Uh, read that. I gotta go source some more rocks. Nobody dead on that pile. All right, not too bad. Traps got most of the randoms, and there weren't too many that were too difficult to uh, deal with. No, we don't. Man, this pit trap keeps catching, keep, keeps catching and killing zombies. Maybe that's all I need. Just dig a few pits nearby and call it good. All right. Um... Temporarily. Whoops. Oh, see, that's not good. The piles of rubble are hiding bodies as well. All right, that gets me 20. That'll do for now. Stone pouch holds 10. RTB. I really should clean this mess up sometime. <laughs> so, I'll point out for an, uh, the millionth time. Notice how when we started the adventure, we were in the basement. 
And every single time I went to craft or read or sleep, we would have zombies visiting us in the basement. And we have had zero zombies the entire time we've been on the second floor, even with the front door being right there. Yes, I got a few traps there, but we didn't initially. And, um, yeah, they have no problem going down in the basement, but they don't go up. Have some rocks. Whoops, now we got some rocks. All right, I, I think I'm still in the mood to not go anywhere. I don't have any immediate needs for things. We're going to keep punching out as many proficiencies and work on the vehicle. I'll kind of move back and forth between them, depending on how things go. I might need to go out and do a food run, actually, where we're getting a little lighter on food than I'm happy about. Um, so we'll we'll do that at some point. Not quite yet, though. Yeah, there, there's a fair amount of uh, chain link fences in cities. Quite a few buildings have them. Uh, tons and tons of tabletop strategy games, yep. Although, like I, I, I said, I hadn't played any in like a decade. Been quite a while, but uh, I grew up basically gaming in hobby stores pretty much my whole life so I started playing Dungeons and Dragons back in uh, 1980 81 I want to say 81 been doing RPGs and tabletop gaming the entire time between 1981 and about a decade ago <laughs> where I pretty much switched to pure digital so now I play digital board games Yeah, it gives the dodge on move. So technically you're supposed to hit and move and hit and move and hit and move to keep your dodge up. Depends on what you're trying to go for. I, I don't consider the move sometimes to be useful if you're in a position where you're going to kill the zombie in one swing anyway. And then you wouldn't need the dodge. So it depends on what situation I'm in. If I've got more than one attacker on me, I might do the move and dodge, move and dodge. Or move and hit, move and hit to keep my dodge up because i got multiple strikes coming in. But for a single opponent that I know I'm going to be able to smash down pretty quickly, I don't usually bother to do the uh, the move, get the dodge bonus. Yeah, I could turn on auto pulp and then just walk around in that building, but they're all going to stand up eventually and come over and die in my other traps anyway, so... Uh, smell heat? <laughs> no. Smell heat does not drift up. <laughs> nope. Doesn't happen. You, you can tell that pretty easily just by going uh, into the debug menu. And, uh, stand in a basement for a few minutes to build up your scent. Then teleport up and to the side a bit. Uh, and just check the scent map. And there's zero scent in the upper level. <laughs> so it's, it's... The smell and heat does not cross Z levels. What version of D&D &D was that? That was long before they had the E versions. <laughs> that was the original... Uh, well, I actually started with the Chainmail, which is the precursor to Dungeons & Dragons, and um, then moved from Chainmail rules up into the D&D &D basic set, the original blue box. It was a red box? Blue box. I can't remember. I think I had both at one point. I don't remember which one I got first. But the, the really super old set... <clears throat> So, then it advanced through there. I think the last D&D &D I played on tabletop was... 3rd edition? Maybe? Can't remember. <laughs> it's been too long. Too long and way, way too many different RPGs since. Played them all. 
I had hobby stores near my house, and uh, later in life I was uh, involved in running some. So I've always been really closely hooked into the gaming and RPG tabletop communities and collectible card games and all that. Dewey is like early 90s. Um, yeah, I was still playing D&D in the early 90s. So it was probably second edition. All right. Uh, what was I doing? I got distracted again. I took a hit. Just a little love tap. All right. Local area is clear. Uh, we're going to keep working on proficiencies. I really, really, really want to get the um, the armor done. But I'm not sure uh, if the survivor suit's going to work in the middle of summer here. At the rate we're doing proficiencies, I think another week we'll have enough done that I could probably put together a suit. But other than the, uh, the chainmail suit with separate pieces specifically put together for no temperature. I don't remember what else is good to use because of the heat. <clears throat> and or I'm not high enough to have it on my list. I know what, chitinous armor doesn't have a lot, if I remember right. What's chitinous armor got? Yeah, warmth 10. Not terrible, but um, eh, it's pretty good protection. Only 90% coverage. It's on leg, torso and legs, average. It's 90 and 90, so. Yeah, if I keep to the nighttime adventuring, survivor suit's probably going to be the best. If I just hang out during the day and uh, do most of my adventuring in the evenings. If we can get over to that lab especially. Once we get the motorcycle put together, we'll be able to uh, sidestep that issue we have with the thing in the sewer. Because we'll, we'll like drive up here and I'll drive into the sewer up here. Basically get on the other side of it and then head to the... Uh, the lab entrance or just go as close to this whatever sewers as close to the lab entrance as I can get yeah you want the dismember option so yeah let's let's just keep working that way I haven't made a survivor anything ever since proficiencies got introduced so let's mark that off the the, the new bucket list <laughs> All right, so if we're going to do that, uh, I need to uh, reload the MP3 player. Activate the MP3 player. Focus is low at the moment. Do I have any other? I think I read all my fun books and they no longer. Oh, we got one more, one more dose. And we'll have some candy and stuff so you don't burn focus it's used in the calculation for earning progress but it doesn't burn it like it does when you're when you're learning skills so it's a circumstance where you do actually want to boost your um boost your morale and focus up although the, the music is by far the most useful because it's continuous these all fade out pretty quickly, and I really get tired of fiddling with them. And let's get a fire started to settle down my pyromania. I'm going to wait a little longer. All right, so it was third edition. Third edition is the one I remember. The the first third edition. <laughs> uh, it gets confusing because there were so many of them. Whichever. I played a lot of D&D &D back then. <laughs> Branched out into a lot of other ones. A whole lot of Warhammer roleplay, a whole lot of uh, Merps, a whole lot of, um, uh, what were the other ones? A whole lot of uh, Shadowrun, uh, Everdon, uh, uh, what was the D&D sci-fi one? Uh, God, it's at the tip of my tongue. The D&D sci-fi one. <laughs> that was fun. I liked that one. That one was crazy. No, not Buck Rogers. Uh, gamma, Gamma, Gamma something. 
Ah, oh, it's Gam Gamma World. I think it was Gamma World. I already said Shadowrun. That wasn't D&D. &D. Pretty sure it was Gamma World. Yeah, it was Gamma World. Come on, focus. <laughs> Just going to let this run for a bit. What's the convo? Oh, I was asked uh, if I played tabletop games, and I mentioned I started playing Dungeons and Dragons in the early '80s, and it kind of went from there. You finish practicing advanced, you can no longer make that craft. Uh oh, did I run out of uh, raw materials? I think I must have run out of raw materials. Leather patches. Oh, that's right. We burned through all my leather. Damn you, leather patches. Um, well, that's, that's not fun making. I gotta go find some damn leather. We only made it to 50%. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work right now. <laughs> because uh, I have a mega city. You're not clearing the mega city. Not any time in the, the near future. Mm -hmm. It's all city. <laughs> Meaning Wandering Hordes is just going to continuously be handing me stuff. Yeah, the car seats take forever, though. They changed it. It takes forever to disassemble those things. Um, I think I have a lot of leather just laying around. I just haven't cleaned it up and taken it apart. Or not. <laughs> maybe, maybe, not, maybe I haven't. Oh, I'm standing on the pile. Inventory, all leather. And no, I don't have much. Not taking apart that or those. The leather seats take forever to disassemble now. So apparently I've already gone through my leather stuff. And I'm going to need leather to actually make the things as well. So uh, we already visited one of these. The other one is over there. Hmm, right next to the police station. I was a little unhappy about the amount of leather that we got. I think what we'll do is we'll have to uh, we'll put off doing the leather hunt until and finishing up the leather proficiency until uh, we wake up tomorrow, 3 a.m. I got about nine hours. Let's um, let's see if we can source some heavy frames. I was thinking about it and I thought maybe I can get some heavy frames out of this heavy machinery. So old machinery, old light. Electronics. We got a couple of heavy machinery, so I've got one downstairs. There's hopefully a few here. And then if I can just pull one or two more off of either the SWAT truck or possibly the Humvee, um, we'll have enough. So let's go with uh, the candle and do a deconstruct. There's already an unfinished construction there. What? <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm not sure what happened there. What do we got? We got bearings, rubber hoses, steel frames. No, I didn't want steel frames. Heavy machinery. I wanted heavy frames. Oh, well. Hey, look, we got wire. <laughs> uh, well, we're not going to get heavy frames out of this other machinery. May well, let me let me test the old machinery. I don't remember what this has. Turn that off. What did you give me? Not even a frame. All right. 
more general parts, couple planks. I could take apart this fence right here. I got uh, I got plenty of wire. See, we got wire. All right. Well, that didn't give me what I was hoping for. So, chainmail vest. <laughs> really, really, that's funny. Uh, you see, it's no problem. It only takes one wire. There's, there's, it's easy to make. <laughs> these probably, these are probably a nightmare to make. Another wire, and then a thousand chain link. Hey there, chain link. Chain link takes more wires. One wire for 150. Yeah, that's a lot of wire, <laughs> and it probably takes a million years. So, massive pile of wire and a whole bunch of sitting there bending it and weaving it and turning it. Oh, I'm sure there's multi-tools out there. I just never bothered to grab one. There's probably a dozen of them in all the bodies out. All right, four o'clock. Uh, so, we're going to uh, be done with that. So, nothing up here I can do. I don't want to go downstairs unless I'm going to mess with the Humvee. I really got to decide. Do I want to keep the Humvee intact or not? I would love to keep it intact as a secondary vehicle. Especially if I have to bail and leave my motorcycle behind. The other vehicles really can't weather a, a long range trip reliably. Guess I could just take the front bumper off and then reattach it later if I plan to use it because we've got a frame. One, two, three, four, five frames right there. Nice and simple. Peel off the armor and the frames. No problem. I think that's what I'll probably do. That'll simplify my life. I'll just peel that front end off the bumper and uh, that'll give me the frames. Put the ladder back on the roof. Why? Zombies never climb on the roof. Might as well just leave it there. I guess they might break it. It'd be better to put it back up. But we're not going to worry about it for now. I've got like three or four of the things up on the roof. So if we lose one. It's no big deal. Um, Yeah, let's just work on this. Let's, uh, let's get this down. Go back to working by candlelight. See how many zombies hear me working on the vehicle and come banging. So I did look at my previous motorbike design. It was five long, five tiles. And this will give me the frames and the armor for all five spaces. So perfect. And yes, I am well aware it could be done shorter. I don't care. <laughs> I make mine five tiles. Do, do, do. All right, so now that we've got that done, Shall we start looking at what they... Whoa. Okay. I think that sound is either coming from here or here. If I had to guess. Maybe they're breaking my, my entry switch. That'd kind of suck. I don't think... Is it possible to replace those and have them work? It's been a really, really long time since I bothered looking into it, but I think I read sometime on Reddit or somewhere that when they get broke... Even if you build a replacement, it doesn't actually function for the door or something. Hungry, thirsty, and tired, huh? It's only 7 o'clock? Ooh. All right, let's uh, stop doing the heavy work. We'll head upstairs and do some light reading until time to go to sleep. At least I don't have to exercise before going to sleep. Um, Let's go... Hmm. More mechanics since we're working on the vehicle. I got to get to mechanic seven in order to uh, install the 
the armor. That's the, the last level I need. Once I get to seven, we're all done with mechanics work. We're getting pretty close to being done with a lot of the major skill groups, so that's good. That'll finally take the pressure off. Um, with some of the time spent. Yeah, let's let's do mechanics. What are we at for uh, six percent and no uh, no theoretical? Cool, no problem. What are we gonna read? Uh oh. There we go, right there. Internal combustion fundamentals. Yeah, the SWAT truck has heavy frames. The problem is getting the frames out without getting spotted. There's no moon bonus that I can craft by out there or deconstruct by. So I'd have to do it with either in the daylight or with a light source. And uh, with the constant influx of new zombies coming in, I just don't want to be doing that. Out where they can see me. It gets annoying. Whoops, one o'clock. Went a little further than I wanted. 